Hey guys, James here. I'm doing this video with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, <clears throat> just got back from the Manhattan Reef Swap a little while ago. Uh, actually, maybe a couple hours ago. And <laughs> you can see my ghetto acclimation. <laughs> Alright, um, in this bag here is one big clam, probably about three or four inches. Big blue colored clam. Um, I think this might be. Oh god, I forget. I don't know if this is another hammer. I honestly forgot the name of this one. I'm really, unless, until I get them out of the acclimation process, I'm really not going to know honestly off the top of my head. Other than the fact that I do know that that's a pink, bird, pink bird's nest on the right side. As you can tell, I noticed one of the tips is broken. I don't know if that's just, if it fell over when it was inside the cooler or what, but you can see it's a really pretty color. So, digging that. That's the pink bird's nest. And then over here is a green slimer. So, I don't know where you can see him, but that's him. And then over here is a type of zoe. Not really positive which one that is. And then over in this container as well, I believe it's another type of zoe. I have to, like I said, once I get them out of here, I'll be able to tell you honestly. And then down in here, I've got a couple of, whoops, I'm over here messing up my ghetto rig. Um, I got a couple of Aikens down here. A little zoomed in a little too close, I'm sorry. But there's four different corals down here. There's like zoos, Aikens, and uh, I'm not really sure what else without actually, once I get them out of here, I'll be able to tell you. But I got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine new corals and one clam. So, not too bad. Uh, spent around $200. It was nothing cheap there. The clam was 45 It was my wife. She talked me into it. So I went ahead and said, all right, fine, I'll get it. And then uh, the rest of them... I think I paid, what was it, $20 for one of them. I don't remember which frag it was. I had some really pretty Zoas, though. There's some uh, Zoas that have, like, rainbow colors. And then the same with the Aikens. I got two different types of Aikens. Really sick colors on the Aikens. So really stoked about that. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys acclimated. And you can see my nice ghetto acclimation system, right? <laughs> All teed down, different lines going to different things. Splits down into more. Oh yeah, that's how we do it. And when, one thing that really sucks is I started an acclimation on one line, and I'm like, why is this stuff dripping everywhere? The line had a hole in it. Brand new tubing. So... That's Home Depot for you. What do you need to do? But yeah, there you have it. There's my ghetto acclimation setup. So I'll be here for about two or three hours taking care of this. Um, I was going to buy a frag tank, and I decided not to. I don't know. I just don't have the room yet for it. But it was about a 30 or 40 gallon frag tank. Really nice acrylic, half inch acrylic. The guy was selling it because he's wanting to get a bigger one for when he does the swaps and whatnot. But he told me he's going to keep it in case I decide to go ahead and do it. It comes with the pump and everything. It's not a drilled one. It's one that's got an actual overflow and everything built right into it to where it goes through like two chambers and then it pumps itself back in. So it's really neat the way it was set up. But then you just need a little small LED or whatever for the actual lighting. He had something on there that was probably about 16 inches long. I think it was one of the Aiken lighting systems. Speaking of, I spoke to the Aiken guys, and they got some really nice fixture guys. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but it's A-C-A-N, just like the Aiken Coral. 
but it's Aiken Lighting. And they're rated way up there in their lighting. And their LEDs are rated way better than the halides. Basically, their LEDs, on, I think they said the 600 series was the equivalency of two halide bulbs. And the difference is, it's not just red, I mean, blue and white spectrums. These are blue, red, green, yellow all sorts of different LED spectrums mixed in and when it comes down into the tank it turns into one spectrum and you cannot see or tell the difference between any of the spectrums and it just looks amazing so I'm thinking about looking at the Aiken lighting hold on one second I'm gonna drip pull too fast here I don't know why the this tubing from Home Depot guys it really sucks you can't knot it for nothing so, I don't know. It is what it is, but yeah, I got it now. All right, I'm gonna get off, gonna gonna go ahead and get off of here because it's um, turning into a long video. Again, guys, that's where we went, man. Pace University, the Student Union, Manhattan Reefs, and some girl won the MP40 and. Her excitement level was like a negative one. So I don't think she even understood what it was that she had won. But she won a brand new MP40. And that was the last of the raffles. And everybody was just like dying to go for it. And this girl ends up with it. And she has like, it's like no excitement whatsoever. The fact, I would have been jumping up and down and screaming and carrying on. I mean, something. Uh, anyways, guys, different strokes for different folks. All right, I'm going to get and get off of here. Uh, once I get everything in the tank, I will say, shoot up another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you like my ghetto acclimation system. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.